Excuse me? Excuse me! I'm really, really sorry to bother you like this and selfishly take time out of your schedule. I'm sure you have so many things to do and so many places to go, but, um... Yes? It's me again. That stray echo that you always give food to. And thanks again, by the way. I know why always thank you so much anytime you give me so much as a chicken bone, but I really just cannot thank you enough. So, um, thanks again. That aside, th there is something I wanted to ask you about. Um, I, I know I don't really have a right to approach you like this. I mean, you have always done so much for me and I have never done anything for you. So it's really not my place to ask you for something. That being said, I was hoping you would consider adopting me. No, 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 hear me out. Uh, this isn't just about me. I would never make this just about me. There is something in this for you, too. You see, the, the other day, uh, you were on your normal morning route, and I was watching you. Well, I, I hope you don't think it's too weird or mine too much. There is not exactly a lot of things for a penniless stray like me to do. But, um... While I was watching, I overheard you say something that really struck a chord with me. You, you said something along the lines of, I wish I had someone to give me lots of love. Now, I hope it's not too presumptuous of me to say this, but... I really love you, and I mean really, really love you, so if I may be so arrogant, I would say I'm just an echo for you. I can give you lots and lots of love. I mean, it comes so naturally to me. So, would you consider adopting me? I mean, there is no way I couldn't love you. You're like catnip to me. You are, you are the only warmth I even have in this world. All the others, they look at me like they just tapped in shit. I think maybe it's because one of my ears is beaten. I guess it does look rather ugly. It might be infected. Even the other strays give me the same looks. I'd have thought at least they would give me sympathy. They are on the same boat after all. But I guess something's wrong with me. Maybe it's not even my ear. But, if there is even one thing right about me, it's how much I love you. I love you so much, I promise I will move heaven and earth to express it. I will give you all the love you could ever dream of. More even. Like, um, um, oh, I know, I you tell you I love you a thousand times a day. At least. I will even count, or... Or until my voice goes out? Don't you believe me? Here, I, I can start right now. Look, I love you, 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 I... You want me to stop? Are you sure? 
I can do it for far longer. For my own good. Okay. If you insist, have a stop. I hope you didn't want me to stop just because you found my voice annoying. But, um, if you did, that's okay. For instance, if you find me annoying, I can just stay silent forever. Or only speak when spoken to. So, if you adopt me, I can just stay in the corner of your room and not make a peep. It will be like I'm not even there. Until you want me there, of course. And even when I'm silent, there are still many ways I can offer you love. I can bow down to you, and, and not just on one knee or something like that. Uh, the whole deal. Forehead to the floor. Every morning when you wake up, you see me bowing down to you. And when you want to go to sleep for the night, I will wish you good night by bowing down to you as well. It's not really a big deal for me, because I love you so much. I know a wooden stray like me really shouldn't be so damn cocky, but... But I don't think there is another Nick out there that would go to such lengths for you. Because no one loves you as much as I do. It's obvious I would love you this much. You're you're the only one who has ever done anything for me. I mean, this is the only conversation I've had in forever. And I've been so starved for some chit chat. You are the only one who ever even talks to me. Unless you count expressions of disgust as talk. In which case, yeah, lots of people talk to me. I don't have any family or friends to talk to. Even the other strays, the one group who should at least give me the time of day, don't want anything to do with me. What, I is it because I'm a different breed? I don't know, I, I just don't know. But that doesn't matter. Because at least you acknowledge me. I know I've said this so many times already, but I really do love you. But I, but I don't just love you. I can be helpful too. I'm sure you don't want a burden to haul around after all. But I won't be a burden. I can keep you warm if you don't mind me in your bed. I know you always shiver on cold nights. I've seen you from your window. You can hold me for warmth as tightly as you want. Even if you constrict me, I won't make a fuss. No matter what you do to me, I won't make a fuss. I would do anything for you after all. I love you. And there is so many reasons to love you. For instance, this sweater you gave me, the one I'm wearing now, it's my most prized possession. Well, my only possession, really. Another stray tried to take it from me? I wouldn't have any of that. It's the only thing I have of you, after all. So I clawed her face until it was mauled beyond recognition. Oh, um, you don't mind if I have claws, do you? I mean, it's completely understandable if you don't want to keep a Neko that still has their claws. You can declaw me if you want. I know how very, very cruel declawing is. But it's not a problem for me if that's what you want. Like I said, I would do anything for you. Because I love you. I'm sure you could use me in some way. Let me think. Um, I don't have any money. But I can still give you presents. 
Every day it can leave you the head of a mouse who dared to trespass on your precious property. Assuming there are any that have the audacity anyway. I'd love to do that for you. I love you. You know, I know that at most I'm just a footnote in your life, but my life revolves around you, how my dreams are about you, and when my stomach doesn't hurt too much and it's not too cold and I have the luxury of thinking about less painful things, my thoughts are always about you, my fantasies. Um, what kind of fantasies did I have? Well, um, sometimes you would leave your window unlocked, you know, um, and I, I flirted with the idea that maybe you left it like that for me, that you were inviting me in. Then I would be able to just walk right in and snuggle into your bed. Then, with your body heat against me, I, I, I wouldn't be so cold. Or sometimes uh, I thought about what it would be like if I was a human. Maybe you would like me more. Maybe, maybe I could be a natural part of your home. Or, or even if I'm still an echo, often times when I'm went sleep starving, I had fantasies where I would wake up in your home, in your arms, to you patting me. Your lap was always so warm and cozy, and then you would have a nice meal laid out for us, for the both of us to enjoy. Sometimes I fantasize that I'd be the one feeding you. Other times that you would be the one feeding me. He would always congratulate me for finishing all my food like such a good little Neko. Then you would cuddle me as a reward. But, but I shouldn't be so entitled. Um, it's just a fantasy. I'd never ask so much from you. Like I said before, I would never be a burden. I, I will warn my keep. If you take me, I can cook and clean like a maid. I can be your obedient little Neko maid. You can even make me wear the outfit. And I can do other simple tasks too, like... Cut your hair, and keep the leftover hair in my collection. And uh, as for food, I can just subsist off of any invasive mice like I said before. You don't have to waste your money feeding me. So, you will take me, won't you, master? Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I... I called you master without thinking. I... Can I... Can I call you master? As for me, you can call me whatever you want. You can even call me it. And I will just be glad you even called me. I don't even have a name. Like I said, no one even knows I exist until I unpleasantly remind them. So, there is no one to call it. So, you can give me whatever name you want. I won't refuse. I want to be your property after all. I am your property. So, you will take me, won't you? I promise, I swear on... Everything that's holy that I will be a good little kitten. So can I? Can I be yours? <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I would kiss your feet, but I have no idea if you would be disgusted. 
I promise, I promise you won't regret this. I will always listen and I will always obey and I will always be yours. I won't let an hour pass without letting you know just how much I love you. And you really have no idea just how much I love you. You're finally giving me a home, a place where I belong. If only I could see the look on the faces of those stupid other strays. I'm finally getting my happy end while they are still stuck out in the freezing cold. But that doesn't matter anymore. No one else matters. You are the only one that matters. Because you are the only one that I ever love. And I will never let you forget it. <laughs>